Hi, this is Taryn Grom, editor of Pharma Voice. We met with numerous inspirational thought leaders at this year's DIA annual conference as part of our Editors Take video series. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. In this episode, Taryn meets with Andrew Schachter, CEO and founder, Axiom Real-Time Metrics. Andrew, welcome to DIA 2017 here in Chicago. Taryn, it's a pleasure to see you. We love Chicago. It's great to be back in town. We love Chicago too. So Andrew, let's talk about what are some of the unique considerations for small to mid-sized life sciences organizations when sourcing an EDC vendor? Taryn, it's a, it's a great question and it, it's an interesting space to be talking about it because of the evolution of so much technology over the past several years. For us, we feel very strongly that small to medium-sized life sciences companies, whether they're working with a CRO or not, really need to be in a place where they're choosing best-in-class technology that's designed around their organizational structure. That means enterprise-level tools that are focused on delivering the needs of these studies. And what's interesting is that small to medium-sized companies they may be on the smaller side organizationally, but they do complex trials. To that end, the tools really need to be tailored to meet their needs. And with Fusion, uh, there are 15 different modules, so it really gives them the opportunity to, on a more complex study, choose the tools that make sense. On a smaller project, be in a position where they can eliminate a number of those tools and only focus on the things that are going to drive the information and data needs of their study. Um, I would suggest to you that one of the most important things that we've been talking to clients about has been the concept of data ownership. Now, in a study itself, we know that they own the rights to the data. The question is, do they own access to the data? And very often, they fail to have real-time access into their own data requirements. It's what we term owning their data relationship, and we think it's a really important part of, of how they uh, choose a partner to work with. Um, I would conclude that by saying overall that they, they have to find a team that's built around the needs of what they're trying to accomplish with their studies. Um, ideally, a working partnership that's very close, focused on personal attention, and really a partnership interaction. And that's, that's where we come from, from the Axiom position. Um, and at the end of the day, it's about delivering a unified suite that all elements uh, are in a single platform like Fusion. Since you brought up the term unified, um, which is mm -hmm. being used to describe software offerings in the industry, how does Axiom define unified? Um, Axiom was one of the first companies uh, to define the term unified as an e-clinical suite. And one of the reasons for us, um, we brought forward that communication about unified was to make people to understand the difference between companies that pull together module after module after module from different organizations and simply create an interface to them versus companies like Axiom who have designed, developed, engineered 100% our own technology through a single platform. What does that mean to an end user such as the sponsor? It means single sign-on to every aspect of managing their individual study requirements. And I, I would actually suggest that um, one of the challenges that companies face is by finding vendors who declare that they have a unified platform when it's really not, they're actually introducing risks into their study because now they have responsibility for working with technology where they're actually working with four or five different vendors. And that's a significant consideration when one, you have to validate those data connections between those modules, and two, you have to deal with the risk if things don't work according to plan. Um, we've seen that with clients where they've got their studies into tremendous jeopardy by having major issues uh, with a unified platform that's not truly unified. Let's talk about some of the pain points that you are solving for your end users. I think we're all in agreement studies have become more sophisticated and they're looking uh, on a daily basis for technology to give them far better answers every single day. Um, we coined a phrase and a philosophy when we started building Fusion, which was no more, know it sooner, act faster. And be in a position where you're actually able to have the data and knowledge at your fingertips to be able to make decisions. 
I, I think that's actually become more important in 2017 than it even was in 2001. And for us, the, the key things that we're trying to solve with our clients, for example, is bringing forward patient profile reports that I can log into and get every aspect of a single patient view without going into multiple systems is a key consideration. Number two is the dashboard and data reports and enrollment activity so that I'm not going into a CTMS here or a reporting tool here to find out what's happening uh, with my study. Let's talk about the future. Ooh, tell us what's new and upcoming in Axiom's Fusion eClinical Suite. We're really excited about uh, where we've gone from a technology standpoint. Um, without a doubt, we've grown, um, as we touched on, we've grown the, the reporting technology significantly to really deliver a lot more information immediately at your fingertips. We've introduced a whole variety of mobile tools to have access to that information incredibly quickly. Um, probably one of the, the powerful areas is the fact that Fusion CTMS is completely integrated into the platform and available through the ability to do monitoring reports, payment tracking, deviation tracking, enrollment activities, study startup from one single platform. As well, um, one of the key areas that has become a challenge for many small to medium life sciences companies is the aspect of managing potential risks within your overall study. And we know that huge companies have big risk departments. They have access to, obviously, tens of millions of dollars in uh, both personnel and technology. But in Fusion, you can actually manage the potential risk elements in your adverse event reporting, in the data, in the monitoring plan, and be able to track the potential risks in Fusion, have it bring them to your attention, and supervise your potential risks instead of finding out about them at the end of the study. Um, it's been a really exciting time for us on the technology front, and we're, we're really pleased with where it's going. We have a lot of interaction with our clients in developing their requirements around new technology, and they're at the forefront of helping us drive a lot of the different ideas to making a study easier to manage and more engaging. Andrew, you were talking about the end users just a few minutes ago. Who does Axiom define as its end users? Uh, for us, on a practical basis, the end users for our, uh, Fusion are the sites, the personnel at the site, monitor, the monitoring team obviously driving activity. From a sponsor perspective, it's all the personnel that are managing the study. Uh, every single day there in Fusion, our customer care team is supporting them 24-7, ensuring obviously that they have a great experience and they're getting the information that they need. So it's a bigger picture for us. And that, the end user is really for us the patient. Um, our focus every single day is obviously about delivering data that is patient-centric. And many times, obviously, in the studies that we're doing, the actual patient is contributing to that data. Uh, they're doing it in devices really on Fitbits, where they're responsible for bringing that study data to the forefront every single day. They're doing it in ePro diaries, mobile diary apps. Uh, that's going to continue to change and grow um, every single day, where we look for more and more ways to easily get patient data into the data that's, that's being driven in a study. Um, it's been centric for us because it's part of our core philosophy and our mission and vision at Axiom about ensuring that we're driving these activities and studies to end up with better results to help patients. And obviously, it's a critical factor every single day for us. Well, we want to thank you so much for sharing your insights with our audience for our Editor's Take video program. And we want to wish you continued great success. Aaron, it's a pleasure to be here with you today, and I uh, hope you have a great time in Chicago. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on this topic, visit our Thought Leaders website. For more Editors Take videos from the DIA Annual Conference, visit www.pharmavoice.com. Thanks for joining us.